So far, AI ML has primarily been used in the network analytics. But going forward, we expect its focus to shift towards network management automations, especially with the reasoning capabilities demonstrated by the latest uh, large language model and soon to be introduced AI agent features, we will likely see automation, network automation systems evolving to minimize the need for human operator intervention in network management. Moreover, this shift will have a measurable effects such as a OPEX saving that can be quantified. We see five big uh, categories for operators to leverage AI. Uh, one is in the network. Uh, this is for the network dimensioning and optimization. Uh, the second area would be in service assurance. This is for uh, root cause analysis and things like traffic forecasting. Uh, third area would be network security for things like threat detection, uh, digital enablement, uh, and finally internal efficiencies. So the telecom networks are actually a fertile and very rich area for AI because they have tremendous amount of data that's being collected off the network. Um, also, whether it be user data or whether it be network data. So we see um, AI being used both in the signal processing, but also in the network operations and how do you manage operations for say energy efficiency, for um, ensuring that we write the quality of experience, especially as we start deploying generative AI or AI applications at the edge. So an incredibly rich and fertile area um, for use of AI in the telecom networks. Well, initially, I think the operators will continue this journey down cost reduction and network resiliency initially, but there's a lot of new emerging features that are already starting to come through some of the operators. For example, call recording or call summarization, um, and uh, to some point, uh, real-time translation. It's hard to get there, but we're seeing translation with messages already, and uh, the aspiration is to get to real-time translation in the future. A lot of work ahead of us. And then, and then finally, we want to step back and think about new revenue streams for the operators. That's really the compelling opportunity here, not just keeping feature competitiveness, and that is doing something around the big opportunity around enterprises. So we have large language models that are being tuned by enterprises that need low latent inferencing at the edge. And I think that presents a tremendous opportunity for telco operators to actually participate in AI workloads by offering inferencing services at the edge close to their RAN site.